Okay, guys, welcome to my channel. And oh, this phone is facing the wrong way. Not that it'll really make a difference, but let's just get it right. Anyway, welcome to my channel, guys. This is Tech Mobile More, and I'm David. And I just wanted to make a video about this new case that I got for my S21 Ultra. Now, this is the Spigen case with the S Pen slot. Now, just so you know, this case does not come with the S Pen, although the picture here shows it with the S Pen. That's just because it holds the S Pen. And keep in mind that this only holds the S Pen made for the S21 Ultra, so it won't fit the smaller S Pens that are available with the Note line of phones. So keep that in mind. So this is the S Pen here. And now let's get into the case. So just quickly, this is how it looks. As you can see, the inside's got a little pattern there. Nothing much to see. And the back, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it has gotten a little dirty, but it's not that bad really. I think I could just wipe this off and it would look okay. Now this is a great case, except for one flaw, but I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. First, let's talk about the positives because, you know, this is a good case nonetheless. The first positive is that it's only like $20. I think I got it for $20 Canadian off of Amazon. So it's much cheaper than the Samsung case. The Samsung case, I believe, just the case itself is $40 and the S Pen is $40. So you can pick up the S Pen for $40 and then buy this case for $20 and then save about $20. So the price is good. Now the material, like I said, it's a nice uh, soft rubbery material. It's nice and light and the grip is decent. It's grooved all around so it does provide some grip but keep in mind that it's not the grippiest case in the world. As far as the phone goes, it's very easy to put this in. All you do is just grab it like that and sorry just pop it in just like that goes in really easy it's actually a lot easier than i just showed you there i don't know why i was struggling at the beginning um, it's just kind of hard doing it at the angle i'm at right now but yeah it pops in very easily and as for the s pen it pops in like this now keep in mind that the S Pen can only be put in sideways. So that's with this logo here. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but there's a Samsung branded logo right there. And that either has to be facing the front or the back. You can't put it in sideways like you can on the Samsung case. So you have to make sure you put it in facing this way or else it won't go in. It just won't fit. But it Pops in pretty easily. As you can see, it snaps right into place. It's nice and secure. It's not going to fall out. Um, it does show it a little more than the Samsung case. Like in the Samsung case, this whole thing would be covered. But with this case, you can see it a bit more. And the way you can take it out is the way I do it is I just hold out my left hand and take it out my right hand and then to put it back in I like to start here at the bottom first I like to pop that into place and then pop the top part in so getting your S Pen in and out is very easy um, it feels really good in my opinion I don't know why but I think it feels better than the Samsung case the Samsung case it's got this uh, very grippy silicone feeling and although it grips better I'm not a big fan of the feel but this one feels really nice. Although, like I said, it's a bit slipperier. Um, it's also a bit wider than the Samsung case because you know, because you have to put in the pen sideways. The, uh, the Samsung case, you put in the pen facing the more uh, narrow side. So this part here is just a bit narrower on the Samsung case, but it's not a huge difference, I mean, Holding them, they're pretty much the same. The lips here are really tall, and it's got a bit of a lip here as well. 
This side, I think, is flush with the camera, whereas on the Samsung one, it's a bit more raised. This one is fl flush with the, no, sorry, not the camera, the display on this side. But the lips here, I like these a lot better than on the Samsung case. Also, the back here, it does have a lip around the camera. As for the buttons, they're nice and clicky. I have no complaints there. The volume buttons work perfectly and the power on and off button works perfectly too. You can even hear that click. No problems there. Now as for the weak point of this case, it's the fact that this S Pen is exposed. Now for accessibility, it's a lot better. But if this falls on its side and it happens to fall on an awkward angle, there is nothing stopping this S Pen from hitting the ground. It's made of plastic. I'm pretty sure if you applied enough force to it, it would you could snap it like a twig with your hands. So uh, I'm not very confident that this would survive a hard drop. Maybe if it, you know, if it fell by itself, yes, but with the weight of the phone falling on it, I'm pretty sure you could do some damage. I've never tested it, you know, and um, if it falls, chances are it would probably fall in the corners, so it wouldn't hit, but you know, there is a chance of you breaking the S Pen that way. So be careful. Otherwise, um, I think the S Pen is pretty protected in there. It's not going anywhere. So would I recommend this case? If you want to save some money and you want a nice case and you want a case that actually feels better than the Samsung one, in my opinion, sure, go with this case. And that's it. That's my review. If you like this channel, guys, give me a subscribe. I'm going to keep making videos about mobile phones and just technology that I'm interested in. If you're interested in that type of stuff too, give this video a like. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.